Okay, got to make this relatively quick, but this is going to be the first of probably a couple of videos doing a little unboxing here. Um, as you may know, if you are someone who pays attention to this sort of thing at all, um, Modifius, makers of Robert E. Howard's Conan for the 2G, 2D20 system, have recently uh, lost license for that game. And so they are clearing out their stock with clearance sales and uh, some really crazy prices. So I'm going to take a look at the first thing in this box because the... I just couldn't say no. The prices were too good. Uh, so first up is the Shadow of the Sorcerer. I'm going to turn this open here. This is... I believe, from what I understand, this is a campaign. This would be, as far as I know, again, the only campaign done for Conan. I think that's true of any version of Conan to date. I like the cover. Here's what's on the back. Let's see if that shows up. I think it does. Uh, don't know anything about it. I have heard... I have heard a few people say that it's pretty good, but I'm not sure. I have not played 2D20 Conan, and I have heard fairly mixed reviews. I've heard some people have said uh, it was, I think it was one of the first 2D20 games, and I've heard that it was the other later editions or later incarnations have smoothed things out. I, I don't know. I've never played 2D20 at all. Um, so this looks nice. Let's see if there's some art to show off here. Oh, yeah. There's two page spread there. So I, don't, I really don't know. No experience with it. I got it because... I got Conan when it originally came out because I'm a big fan of the original Howard stories. And... They made a really big thing about going back to those original stories and really focusing on that versus what a lot of people have done before. And this goes to include the, the 82 film, which I love, but it really is more rooted, I feel like, in the Marvel comics. There's a version of Conan that became the pop culture version of Conan that I don't think is very true to the actual works of Robert E. Howard. I'm not getting into all about Howard either. He's, you know... There are, there are issues you face when you read authors from a different time sometimes. But uh, anyhow, well, this, looks, this looks interesting. I'm not going to flip through every page, so take a look. Uh, but anyway, I've, I uh, got the game because I really dig it, but my thought has been for quite some time to use Barbarians of Lemuria as mechanics if I actually run a Conan game. And I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe at some point I'll try 2D20 and they'll really like it. I really don't know. Uh, yeah, I feel like there's a couple of other games that are in 2D20 that sound interesting to me. Oh, Star Trek Adventures. I love Star Trek. And uh, the only time I've ever actually run Star Trek, I used the source material. These are some cool maps. I used some the source material from FASA's version of Star Trek, but I used the game mechanics from Atlas Games uh, Over the Edge 2nd Edition. Worked great. I loved it. I would love to revisit that at some point, but uh, that's a side note. Anyway, that is Conan, The Shadow of the Sorcerer. Sort of rushing through my little unboxing because I've got a lot of stuff to do. So that's it. Take a look down below if you want to check out links to reviews and various things like that, I don't know how long it'll take this to get up. Maybe I'll have a review written for it by the time it does. Mm, we'll see. Anyway, uh, yeah. Like, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. I'm not going to tell you what to do in real life. Take care.